Good morning, church. Good morning. Truly, it's a blessing to be in house of prayer. Amen. Amen. Good morning, sister teacher. Good morning, pastor. It's good to see you this morning. Amen. Praise God. Church, we are blessed. Amen. Amen. To come into the house of the Lord. Amen. And give God praise. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, truly, church, we have seen everything that's going on in the world. Amen. And we know that a lot of prophecies are coming to pass. Amen. But however, we're going to go into Zechariah, the 10th chapter, amen. We're going to read chapter 10, and we're going to read chapter, ch chapter 12, praise God, amen. Because there's a, there's, there's a question out in the, um, pretty much in the world, I would say, praise God, or the internet, amen, because the internet has all the world by the ear, Amen. And there's a, a question about who was Judah, and there's a question about who is Ephraim. There's a question about the things that are going on today. Amen. And what's one thing about it is, yes, a lot of people, they like to preach the things of the past. Amen. But we are preaching about what's going on today. Amen. Amen. Because truly, the Lord is on his way. Amen. And he wants his church to give right. Amen. And get ready. Because, see, there's one thing about it is this. Amen. The time has came, amen, that we see what's going on. We know that other places are being bombed. The Gaza Strip. Amen. Israel. Lebanon. Uh, all these other places. Iran. All these places are being bombed. Amen. And they're at war in the Middle East. Now, what's essential about that is this. Every day we live, amen, we live in a land, amen, of freedom. But the devil wants to attack what is free. Liberty is free, amen. And as God gives us liberty, amen, he gave us Jesus Christ for us to understand what is going on. Now, I know a lot of the history books that they teach our children, amen, have a lot of lies in them. Amen. There's about who discovered this and who discovered that and who was here before who and who was all these things. It's confusing to a man in his mind. Amen. Unless he knows himself what does saith the Lord. Amen. So uh, praise God. I believe that we have given you exactly two minutes to get to the subject. Amen. So we will start to read. Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning, sis teacher. I'll be reading to you Zechariah mm -hmm. chapter 10. Chapter 10. And then followed by chapter 12. Yes. Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. Yes. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to grab everyone grass in the fields. Uh huh. For the idols have spoken vanity. Amen. And the diviners have seen a lie. Yeah. And have told false dreams. Uh-huh. They comfort in vain. Therefore, they went their ways as a flock. They were troubled because, because there, there was, was no, no shepherd. shepherd. Amen. Let's stop right there. The Bible says, for the idols have spoken vanity. Amen. See, uh, there's a lot of people that don't understand that truly God has a blessing for us, amen. And the idols and the, and the, um, the devineers, amen, they try to see the future, amen. But the Bible says no man knows the mind of God, amen. So they sit there and they, sell, they tell these people these lies, but the people, they believe who they are, amen. And that's why they fall into the web of deceit, in the web of these web of lies, amen, because when you are not saved, praise God, you run into the situation of what's real and what's not real, amen, and that's one thing about it is we run into this situation each and every day, let's read, my anger was kindled against the shepherds, look what the Lord said, his anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the goats, uh -huh. for the Lord of hosts hath visited his, his flocks, the house of Judah, yes. and have made them as his goodly horse in the battle. Uh -huh. Out of him came forth the corner, 
Out of him the nail. Yes. Out of him the battle bow. Uh -huh. Out of him every oppressor together. Every oppressor together. And they shall be as mighty men uh -huh. which tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets and the yes, valley. Yes, yes. And they shall fight because the Lord is with them. And they shall fight because the Lord is with them. And the riders on horses shall be confounded. Uh-huh. And I will strengthen the house of Judah. And I will strengthen the house of Judah. I will save the house of Joseph. And I, stop right there. And I will save the house of Joseph. Now, the house of Joseph consists of who, says the teacher? House of Joseph is Ephraim and Manasseh. It consists of Ephraim and Manasseh. Amen. So God says, I will save the house of Joseph also. Amen. And we know that uh, the Bible speaks a couple things. Amen. And, and there's a lot of things that is said. Amen. About who Ephraim is. Amen. And and from what we have read, amen, where the Bible says that Judah shall not envy Ephraim and Ephraim shall not envy Judah, amen, that is two race of people and it's not the Puerto Ricans, amen. So we are correcting that, amen, because some people say that the house of Ephraim are the Puerto Rican people, but it's not, amen. Ephraim is the son of Joseph, amen, and, and God had took Ephraim, which is today's um, Anglo-Americans that believe in who God is. Amen. Ephraim is a belief of a people also. It's not just to who the people are. Let's read. And we know that Judah is God's chosen people yes. who were in Egypt, uh -huh. who were again put in slave ships. Yes. In, uh, Amen, sister teacher. Praise God. So, we know Judah. And yes. I will strengthen the house of Judah. Mm -hmm. And I will save the house of Joseph. Yes. And I will bring them again to place them. But God said, I'll bring them again to place them. For I have mercy upon them. For I have mercy upon them. And they shall be as though I had not cast them off. Uh huh. For I am the Lord their God. For I am the Lord their God. And will hear them. And will hear them. Read. And they of Ephraim. And they of Ephraim shall, shall be, be like a mighty man. man. Yes. And their hearts shall rejoice uh -huh. as, though, as through wine. Yea, their, their children, children shall see it. Uh huh. And be glad. And be glad. Their heart shall rejoice. And their heart the shall Lord. rejoice. What? The Lord. In the Lord. the Lord. I will hiss for them. God said, I will send for them and gather them. For I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have increased. Read. And I will sow them among the people. Look what God said. And I will sow them among the people. And they shall remember me in far countries. And they shall remember me in far countries. And they shall live with their children and turn again. And they shall live with their children and turn again. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt. Look what Lord, the Lord said. I will bring them again out of the land of Egypt. And gather them out of Assyria. And gather them out of Assyria. And I will bring them into the land of Gilead uh -huh. and Lebanon. Uh -huh. and, shall play, and place shall not be found for them. Uh -huh. And he shall pass through the sea. And with he affliction, shall pass through the sea with affliction. And shall smite the waves. And shall the smite sea, the waves of the sea. And all the deeps of the river. And all the deeps of the up, river shall dry up. And the pride of Assyria. And the pride of Assyria shall be, shall be brought, brought down. down. And the scepter, scepter of, of what Egypt, of Egypt. Shall depart away. Shall depart away. Yes. Let's read. And I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk up and down in, in his, his name, name saith the Lord. Lord. Amen. While we go to chapter 12, amen. The Lord said that I will put them away in a place, amen, where there was no place for them. Praise God. And God said, I will send them because God, he... Um, knows who Ephraim is, I will send them with Judah back to where they're supposed to be at. Amen. Now, if you look into the, the biblical maps, amen, and you will see that Judah is in Israel. Ephraim is right on the bottom side of it, and Manasseh is on the top side of it. All into the Holy Land, all into the promised land that God had given them. Amen. So we know what the Bible says. Amen. Now, I know man has his way of history, books, and all this and all that. 
But if you were not a part of the Middle East at that time, amen, you do not know the history of the Middle East. See, that's one thing about it is some people, they, they, they take a part or a portion of the Bible, amen, and they do not study the Middle East. They study, amen, what the philosophers have said, what the scholars have said, amen, and they turn it all around to make it look like a people that it's not. Amen. We stand on the word of God. Amen. And the word of God has given us who these people are. Let's read. And the Jewish are not the Hebrew Jews. They're not. They're not the Hebrew Jews. Amen. And we want to make that perfectly clear. Amen. That they are the Akhenazis of Ashdod of Ashkelon. Amen. We want to make that perfectly clear that these people are not God's people. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. These people are not God's people. Amen. They have come as marauders and they have come to steal identities. Amen. Because of the simple fact is they knew that the people that was of that land had been taken into slavery. According to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Amen. And this is why we have to stand on the word of God, church. We have to know what the Lord says. Amen. Because if you do not know what the Lord says, amen, anybody could put the sheet over your eyes. Amen. But if you know what God does say the Lord, praise God. There's not a devil in hell that could tell you anything other than what God says. Amen. Because the devil don't know himself. He got to go to God even to talk to you, even to mess with you. He has to go to God. Amen. He went when, the, I'm sorry, sister teacher, when the devil, when he, when uh, the devil tried to go after Job, God said, have you considered my servant Job? And the devil said, of course I considered him. Amen. But I can't touch him because you got this hedge around him. Amen. And if God put a hedge around Job, God will put a hedge around you. Let's read. Chapter 12. Yes. The burden of the word of the Lord. The burden Israel, of the word of the Lord of Israel. Saith the Lord. Yes. Stretcheth, stretcheth forth the heavens and layeth the foundations of and the earth. And layeth the foundations of what? Of the earth. Of the earth. And formeth the spirit of man within yes. him. Yes. Uh-huh. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling into all, unto all the people round about. Amen. That's one thing about, let me, let me say this, sister teacher. That's one thing about, that's why we, we praise Jesus. Amen. We praise, see, the, the Bible says that God is a spirit. That's the first thing. That's the Father. The Holy Ghost is a spirit. Amen. The only one that has a body is Jesus. So we worship Jesus in his bodily form. Amen. Because of the simple fact is we know who he is. Amen. And the Bible speaks and tells us before we even understand the words of God, amen, that who Jesus is, amen. The Bible says, there's one thing about it. Uh, let, me, let me say this, this teacher. This man, he had said that woman was the first thing on this earth, that Adam and Eve was the first thing on this earth, but that woman was one of the first, was the first um, being on this earth, amen. And that is not true. That's not true. I know you consider yourself a Bible scholar, but that is not true. Because the Bible says in the beginning was the word. It does not say in the beginning was the woman. The Bible says in the beginning, in John, in John 14, that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Amen. So, the, so God was here before man even stepped foot on this earth. So we have to have an understanding of who God is. Amen. Amen. Let us read this, uh, the next scripture. Behold, I will make Jer Jerusalem a uh -huh. cup of trembling to yeah. all the people round about, and uh -huh. they shall be in siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. Amen. Now let's stop right there. Praise God. Because um, verses 1 through 3 of this uh, chapter, amen, talks about the siege of Jerusalem after the battle of Armageddon. Not before, but after the battle of Armageddon. So we want to get this perfectly clear. Let's read. 
And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. Yes. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. Uh huh. In that day, saith the Lord. In that day, will, saith the Lord. I will smite every horse with astonishment. Yes. And his rider with madness. And I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. Yes. And the governors of Judah. And shall, the governors of Judah said what? In their heart, uh huh. The inhabitants of Jerusalem. The shall inhabitants be my, of Jerusalem shall be my what? Shall be my strength in the Lord of hosts. Yes. Their God. Uh huh. In that day will in I. In that make, day. In that day will I make the governors of Judah. Yes. Like a hearth of fire. Like a hearth of fire. Earth, and like a torch of fire. And like and a torch sheath, of fire and, and a they, sheath. And they shall all devour all the people round about. Uh-huh. On the right hand and on the left. On the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again. In her, in own, her own place. place even, even in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yes. Amen. So everything that we see that's going on, amen, is, is going to, is the, the battle with Jerusalem is going to be a fierce battle. Amen. Because see, there's one thing about it is the Bible says there's a bastard in Ashdod. Amen. That battle is going to be a battle that has never been seen by man. Amen. Now there's been World War One and World War Two. Oh, thank you, God. But World War Three is going to be a battle that men have never seen or understand. Because of the simple fact is this, World War I and World War II, the World War I, they had muskets and rifles. Number, World War II, they had ballistic missiles. Now, number three, they have nuclear weapons. So now we're going to see things that are going to happen that has never been seen by man. It's going to astonish man by the power of the weapons that are going to be um, unleashed on man. Because, see, that's what it is. They, they, I, I seen something that was very, it was very disheartening. And I seen the children of Gaza and the children of Israel. And I seen how they were having funerals for in Gaza that they were burying, they didn't have enough places to bury the, the, I think it was like 25 kids that got killed. And the Bible said that they would not have no mercy on the children. Amen. And the Bible also said in Israel they would have no mercy on the children. Oh, Satan the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is not a war of um na uh Natural cleansing. This is a war of destruction and obliteration of a man because of who that man is. And that is what's a shame more than anything that man is man. And just because you're from another part of the earth, praise God, or you're part, you're, you have certain other beliefs, praise God, that you have to kill another man because of who he is. Amen. And what he believes, that is the, what's the most travesty thing of all, because God is the head of all. And no matter what no man has done or no man has said, the Bible still says ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Mm -hmm. Amen. You will go into that grave just like a free man will go into the grave. Amen. That's why it's the, it's the understanding is, is mind blowing. Because there are so many people that don't understand in their mind that what they're doing is actually killing people for no reason. But however, God said, vengeance is mine. I will repay those that destroy the people of God. Amen? Let's read. And it will bring the restoration of God's people. And it will bring the restoration of God's people. The Lord also shall save the yes. sons of Judah first. Uh -huh. That the glory of the house of David. That the glory of the house of David. Glory of 
the inhabitants of Jerusalem yes. do not magnify themselves against Judah. Uh huh. In that day shall, shall the Lord defend, defend the inhabitants, inhabitants of, Jerusalem. of Jerusalem. Yes. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall, shall be, be as, as David. David, King David. And the house of David shall be as God, yes. as the angel of the Lord before them. As the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day yes. that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Look what God said. And in that day, after the sacking of Jerusalem, after the war, the war of Armageddon, God said, after that happens, I will what? I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David yes. and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem uh -huh. the spirit of grace and of supplication. The spirit of grace and supplication. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced uh -huh. and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son. Let's stop right there. <laughs> When you find out, that's why Pastor told you about the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that Jesus, the man Jesus, he said, those that pierce me in the side, this is Jesus talking. This is the Lord talking. Those that pierce me in the side, amen. And he said, they shall take upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one Mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. The Lord has made it perfectly clear, Amen. With thus saith the Lord, Amen. 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 He has made it perfectly clear that the children of Israel will come back home. Amen. Amen. He has made it perfectly clear, and John eight, where the Jewish said. They had never been in bondage to no man. That that was not them. Amen. That it is the children of Israel, the children of Judah, who are coming back home. Amen. God has made all these things perfectly clear. All you have to do is read it for yourself. Amen. Let's read. In that day. In that day. Shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem? Yeah. As the mourning of Hadad Ramon mm -hmm. in the valley of Meg Megadon. Right. And the land shall mourn. Every and the land shall mourn. Apart. Every family apart. The family of the house of David apart. Yeah. And their wives apart. Yes. The family of the house of Nathan apart. And uh -huh. their wives apart. Yes. The family of the wives of Levi apart. And their wives apart. Yes. The family of Shimei apart. And their wives apart. Uh -huh. All families that remain. Every family apart. And their wives apart. In and my Lord. And, may, and, and mourning. And may the Lord. Add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise God, church. See, and this is what's coming to pass. And some people might say, you know, Pastor Jackson, we want to hear that Pentecostal clapping of the hands and the singing and all this and all that. We don't want to hear about what's going to happen and all this and all that. Well, if you don't want to hear about what's going to happen, the thing about all of that is this. All that clapping you're doing and all that singing you're doing will cease and the word of God will go forth. In your life. Amen. See, that's one thing about it. It's even like in the world. You see people, amen, as soon as they hear music, they start dancing and all that's not. But when the music stops, they look around to understand why did the music stop? The music stopped because something happened. Amen. And that's what's going to happen. All this kumbaya that a lot of these churches are doing, amen, they're setting the people up for a fall. Amen. But God said, you are a people, amen, that have been hidden for so long, and now you will come forth. But not every person that is, a, that is of the tribe of Judah is going to be blessed, amen. The Bible says only the remnant and the residue, amen. So there's going to be people that are going to keep on doing what they're doing, amen, but the church is going to get right, and we're going to go home. Amen. They're going to be dancing out in the streets and they're going to look around for their loved ones and the loved ones that are in the church that really are getting the church. Amen. They're going to be gone. They're going to be gone. Amen. And, and they're going to wonder, what, where are they? They still dancing and popping their fingers and going on. Amen. And the Bible says they're going to be caught up. 
But the people that are not of the world, they're gonna, the people of the world are going to still be doing what they're doing. Amen. And then that's when damnation will come. Amen. 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 Praise God. Truly God is good and a blessing God. All minds clear? All minds clear. Amen. What I say on the one? What I say on the one? I say on all. Watch, Watch and, pray. and pray. Live holy, Live holy. Every, day. every day. And read your Bibles daily. daily. Now hug the one next to you. Say, I love you. Remember that. I love you. Amen. And that's one thing about it is families, we need to start loving each other. Amen. I love you. And there's nothing that you can do about it. I don't care how mad you are. I don't care about all this and all that. Amen. When it's time to go home. Amen. Praise God. I want you on that ship. But if you don't heed the pastor's words and the first lady's words, praise God. We know that all we can do is pray for you to go strong in the Lord. Amen. 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 We'll see y'all next Sunday. Y'all be blessed.